Yes, welcome to Bikes of Rye and welcome to Ibiza. Me and Nicole are on holiday here. We are here for eight nights. We are in San Antonio Bay, staying in the white apartments. Let me show you around. Quite a funky place, better than we actually expected. Here is the kitchenette. We've got a microwave, a uh, hob, fridge freezer, all our cutlery and stuff came included. Uh, we've been to Lidl and we did buy some food, uh, stocked up a little bit. Uh, also got egg, bacon and all the good stuff in the fridge too. Uh, wardrobe here, we have unpacked. Oh, right. Sturdy doors. So yeah, we've unpacked plenty of uh, storage space and also a safe included. We also have a sofa here, so this is like a little lounge area. And that also is a fold-out bed, I believe. A nice flat screen on the wall, which is real budget, to be totally honest with you. The sound quality is atrocious. Shame that you don't have a smart TV too, uh, to hook up to Netflix or something. But to be honest, we are on holiday, and we want to be out and about rather than watching telly. What is really fancy, though, is these touchscreen units. And there are a few dotted around the apartment. There's one here, two beside the bed, and one by the rear door, but it's pretty cool. You can. Uh, Basically, do the curtains, adjust the curtains. Uh, you've got all different uh, modes for the lights. So you can see, like, you've got movie mode, love making mode, night mode, and then everything on. And also, you can do your uh, air conditioning here. So you can have min, medium, max, on, off, and adjust the temperature. Got a nice big bed here. Uh, this is actually Super King uh, size. And as I mentioned, yeah, you've got two touch screens either side. And also, you can plug in uh, sockets there, you can plug in USB to charge your phone either side, which is really handy. And obviously, a couple of lights there too. And out here, we have the port of San Antonio. Still very early, sun is just coming up, but look down here, the beach, all obviously the boats. Over here, you've got the egg roundabout. Nice to wake up and see this first thing in the morning, eh? Now going into the bathroom. I think it's a decent size. Nice sink unit there. It's all pretty new, to be honest with you. And the shower, I think, is very decent too. Um, it's a really good space. Me and Nicole could both get in there, no bother, and have a shower. And what I really like about the shower is the fact that it is super strong. You feel like you're having a jet wash in there. And I always love that when you get that in, the, in a hotel. If you have a hotel room and you feel like you're being showered by a watering can, really upsets me. Yeah, so today, super excited because we are heading over to Formentera, another little island next to Ibiza. We need to catch a ferry over there. We are collecting our scooters this morning for 9.30. Um, so yeah, this is what it's all gonna be about today, this vlog. Uh, however, before we do that, we do need to eat. All right, so how are we fueling ourselves for today? We have my porridge. Uh, I've included in that two egg whites, banana, of course. We got some bread with some strawberry jam. Nicole is also eating porridge and she's just chopping up her bananas there to include also. And then of course we've got two coffees as well. Because it's gonna be a long day, I think what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and get a lot of food in this morning, fill ourselves right up, and then we have to worry about that a little bit less. Uh, but of course, we are planning on eating in Formentera. But yeah, I think it's important that we just eat as much now and give us loads of energy. Sim Joyride 125, a little bit dusty, uh, a little bit tatty, but it should do the job. We've obviously specced it with a top box here. Uh, you've got underseat storage. We also have a screen just to make it a little bit more practical because we are riding around on it all day. What I will say though is um, first impressions, not great for Kultra, uh, the company that we're using, uh, because we arranged in the booking a uh, ferry crossing to Formentera. Now, what it didn't specify, it doesn't allow you to bring the scooter with you. Why would you ask for a ferry crossing on the booking and making a scooter 
book in and it not include the scooter to take on the ferry with you. Also, just to point out, that is my brother and his girlfriend. Uh, so they're coming with us as well. So there are, yeah, it's gonna be a, a right laugh. Um, they've come obviously down to meet us. They're staying in a different hotel, but they've come on their scooter to meet us. And yeah, we're gonna jump on this now. We've got about an hour and a half to get over to the port, arrange this ticket. I think we should be fine. Anyway, let's get going. just joined the uh, queue for the ferry yeah so far so good uh, can't wait now to get on the boat and go over to Formentera and do some good exploring <laughs> well a bit of a bump So we are now on the ferry and we are participating in the crossing right now as we speak. Um, yeah, quite glad to be on it, to be honest. A bit anxious. I was thinking to myself, are we going to make the ferry or not? Where do we go? What do we have to do? Uh, but it was straightforward as I say, we just literally rode route, route onto the ferry, this last one, and I assume that we pay when we get off the other end or on the return. Who knows? I guess we have to return, don't we? Unless we just stay on for and terror and not pay. I could do that. So what, what do you think to yours? Mine's good. The brakes, not so. <laughs> <laughs> I do yeah. need like a, a front guard. Yeah, we got a we got a nice screen on us, so when we're just flying along, we're not getting battered by the wind. I'm happy to just stick behind you and slip through. Yeah, yeah. mine's a bit up. mine's a bit quicker than yours, it isn't is, it? Yeah. yeah, I was hitting a hundred k's, but I think mine's restricted because when you get to when you got to hundred k's, it was like misfiring. I don't know if it's got a limiter on it or not, but. I think we reached about 90. <laughs> and it's just, we were trying to go faster. We were dipping down as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but the best bits are going to come up now because once we go over to Formentera, it should be nice, quiet, very picturesque. Um, not been there before, but looking forward to it very much. So, so we are in Formentera. Bit of a disaster with regards to the ferry crossing ticket. Some guys driving like a lunatic. Basically, we've just had to pay 55 euros one way. We're hoping that we can log on uh, the internet and buy the return and pay a little less. Um, fingers crossed. If not, then it looks like we're going to end up paying 55 euros to get back the other way. So it's all adding up. It's pretty expensive. But I think if we paid extra because it was a 25 minute journey. Anyway, I think I'm going to take my t-shirt off because it is boiling hot. Uh, and then we're just going to explore. Yes, so we're just knocking around Formentera and we are getting lost to be honest. So um, we're going to carry on just roaming about. Uh, but I think what we might need to do is get the sat nav on the go. So we can at least find the cool places to go, the real scenic spots of the island. Because um, we, we're only here for the day, so we can't spend all our time just being lost. But the sun is shining, it's beating down, life's good. The wind is flowing through my uh, veins. I've got my t-shirt off to allow the wind to get through my body because it's very, very hot. I've got this nice windshield on my helmet. Very cool. Scooter is parked up. We are all there uh, cooking in the sun. This is our first stop. How pretty is this? So basically we've parked down that way with the scooter. You can get parked right here, but it was full. You very likely have to get there super early in the morning. Uh, but yeah, about a five minute walk that way. The water is crystal clear. So we're gonna go and dip our feet in the water. An absolute must. We've uh, walked along this nice P 
picturesque beach. Our beef for mainland is, is over that way. Nicole just told me she does need to go for a wee as well. She she's like, that. she's like, how, <laughs> how far do I need to go into the water to go for a pee? I'm just heading back towards a scooter, but over here, there's like an island which you can cross over by the sea. So we're gonna just pass by that, check it out first. We made it across here. And look at that for a scene, huh? So beautiful, the waters. Uh, epic. Uh, we've worked up a bit of an appetite walking around those beautiful beaches. Uh, we've got a restaurant in mind, it's about a 20 minute ride from now, a nice Mediterranean restaurant. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're going now, so let's go. What a beast. Yeah, look at this oh my gosh beautiful how nice is this Nicole unbelievable isn't it food has been served me and Nicole have gone for paella and it is a meat and fish dish uh, Nicole's looking a little bit unsure <laughs> These guys have played it safe, they've gone British for dish. a British dish, British basically dish. chicken and chips, <laughs> pretty much, or no, steak and chips, isn't it? Steak and chips, yeah. Yeah, and you've gone for, oh, that's yeah, a massive chicken. piece of chicken, isn't yeah. it? Nice. And uh, yeah, look, look at these scenes we've got here. Very picturesque. So, we've eaten, and uh, we're still hungry. <laughs> You're still hungry, bro. Huh? Are you still hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> Absolutely starving. I've got a pinch of a uh, pinch of chips <laughs> for my meal. So um, we're, still, we're gonna carry on doing some more exploring, but I think we're gonna have to eat again at some point. Um, next stop, we're gonna carry on heading east and see what else is about. Okay, we are as far east as possible, obviously parked up there behind in those bays and uh, we've got a lighthouse here. Uh, if we walk, let me spin you around, carry on walking this way, we've got obviously a, quite a dangerous cliff edge. But yeah, the roads up here were epic, uh, nice and windy. I wish I was on my street triple. However, we're going back down that road now. So looking forward to <laughs> going a bit quicker. Uh, but of course, keeping in mind that I've got to go sensible because I do have Nicole on the back, but she's enjoying it too, loving life. So yeah, let's carry on. give you a quick review a quick taste of how this beautiful sim joyrider is to ride about on suspension very soggy the brakes they work it's clearly got some buckled wheels on it doesn't handle very well but it's been okay so far uh, this screen is very handy, to be honest. Uh, even though we've got a screen on our helmets, that does take off the wind. Um, it's quite a sturdy old thing. It's not bad too up, is it? How do you think? Uh, 
I feel like I could be safer, not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, it, the car's got foot pegs there, look, at least. Yeah, it's comfortable. This, that's comfortable. Having this here, it's comfortable. That helps, doesn't it? It's got the old side stand. Yeah, when uh, you're going around those corners and I don't feel the safest. It does about 100 k's top speed. Um, and it's actually been pretty good on fuel so far. There was seven bars on the fuel and two bars have gone so far. And we've been riding it a good, what, hour and a half? Been yeah. doing some uh, distance on it. But anyway, what we're going to do now is head to Oroski, some shop in the centre, uh, get some beers, some food and what have you. Then we're going to head to another beach to basically settle and watch the sunset. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Just coming to uh, Oroski, uh, we're getting some essentials to watch the sunset, which is happening very soon. So I fancy some of these. I'm going to say yes to the bugles. Uh, yes, whack that in the basket. Yes to the alioli. We're going to get some uh, San Miguel's as well in the basket. Oh. We've done our shop. And we're just sticking all of the bits and pieces we bought in our little boot huh how cool is this sun is getting that bit lower we better get around to this beach and get settled gonna pop ourselves down over here somewhere <laughs> some uh, quick facts on Formentera Formentera is 82 kilometers squared the island is 20 kilometers long and only two kilometers wide and only around 12,000 people permanently live on the island but look at this huh absolutely stunning when we was leaving the roski liam and megan nearly stacked it on their scooter didn't they what happened bro what, what happened not a clue to be honest we was coming out we was just going around the bend just slid out yeah i just heard this thump this banging and the scooter was all <laughs> you're wobbling and went through these there was like these uh plastic posts in the road and you just went <laughs> Straight through, through one of them, yeah. Straight through it. I'm just thinking, <laughs> <laughs> everyone was looking like, what the hell's going on? All this banging and clanging and, oh my gosh. Anyway, they, uh, they're they here, they're still safe and unhurt. So this is what we're dealing with, sunset wise. I don't think we've been blessed with the greatest sunset in Ibiza I've ever seen, but it's still nice, chilled, relaxed. And there's a, uh, Plenty of people around us, including Nicole. So me and Nicole have just returned. Uh, we're back at the White Apartments. What a day. Nicole is there just picking up her rice cake with jam that she's just dropped. Uh, she's tucking into some food. It's roughly midnight. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit peckish. It's been a long day. Lots of energy has been spent. Anyhow, I think I'm gonna leave the vlog there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Thank you, yes and uh, I hope to see you in another one very soon. We're going to do two vlogs uh, for this Ibiza trip. We've got another uh, plan to explore the whole island. So yeah, look out for that. But yes, thanks for watching. See you later.